uh, dur during these challenging times. Let me just uh, echo what my colleague from New Hampshire has just said about the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard Admiral. And where, where are we if, as we go forward with sequester in terms of fleet size and the attack submarine fleet? Uh, I know you mentioned in your test opening testimony that one less Virginia-class submarine uh, would be uh, built during the period that we would like to build it. So can you give us a picture of, of what the overall fleet looks like? Well, uh, as I mentioned, the undersea domain critically important. We, we need uh, 45 to 55. Our goal is 55. We'd be down to 48 uh, submarines in 2020. I use that as a benchmark year. And as you know, unfortunately, due to sequestration, we lost the USS Miami, which Portsmouth was uh, a project Portsmouth had. But the overruns, the furloughs, uh, and the need to have to go to a, a, to a commercial workforce instead of using federal workforce, uh, it was just too much. We couldn't afford that submarine and continue to, to do the other. And just so, um, you know, my understanding is that we, we aren't meeting combatant commanders' needs with respect to the requests they make for assistance from the fleet now. What's, what's the rough meaning of where we are in terms of combatant commander requests? Uh, just in submarines, the combatant commanders, as they look at the world distribution of submarines for, uh, uh, for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, they need about 19 submarines any time deployed. We can support about 10 to 11, and we distribute them. Uh, uh, we broker how that works. So we're about 50 percent, and that's pretty reflective of the overall fleet request versus what we can provide today. Great. Thank you, Admiral. Uh, 